previously in Skyrim. Now then, let's get some food and... I'm sorry, what? Butterflies. Uh... Hold that thought. Okay, this is gonna be the result of me being screwed with by a Daedra because I pissed him off? Suck it! I'm curious. But we really need to get the iris dead. You know what? Let's go inside. Ah, hello. I offer greetings to you, yes? You always repeat yourself on you first conversation? Of your time. How did you find me? Girls, if this works the way Mr. Kitty Man says this is going to work, we are going to be rolling in gold. Start making your shopping lists. And now. Okay, Mr. Kitty Man really needs to work on his directions and timing. Oh my god. Like the map said he was way out in the middle of, of, of Whiterun Hold. And along the way, I found a horse. But now there's a dragon attacking. Watch yourself, boss. I really don't feel like messing with the dragon. I've already dealt with one recently. Oh, but his camp is right here. Okay. Okay, it looks like the guards have done a number on, on the dragon, so maybe we can just finish it off? Oh, horsey, what are you doing? Yes, yes. No, Kill horsey, them. don't play with the dragon. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Oh, hey. Are you the cat's partner? It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Um, the sky, I would imagine. Why are you standing inside the dragon? Um, also, don't mind the rushing wind. Don't worry, everything is fine. This is pretty normal. Hi, I can see you now. You're standing inside its old ribcage. Are you okay? It may be Hi dead there. now, but where did it come from? Well, the sky. Where else do dragons come from? Yeah. Oh, you're a companion. No, I don't want to talk about mm -hmm. the companions. At least not yet. <clears throat> like, But why are you just standing inside its ribcage? I don't know. But we're right near the camp, and I just got a whole bunch more fun stuff. Um... And I'm not over encumbered. Wow. Hi there. Need something? You're a merchant. Of course. Oh, good. Wow. And look at what you sell. Oh, more of these beacons. That's a lot. But I'll take them. Because I need them. And I want this grand soul gem, too. And all of your lock picks. Oh, you've also got... Oh, you've got some good stuff, man. Iron ore, refined malachite. Ah, uh, wait. Oh. Of course. Sorry, wasn't done. I just picked up a bunch of stuff. So, do I have anything worth selling? How about those? Reinforced shield. Yeah, you can, you can take that. I have plenty of jewelry. Any... Nope, need all my healing potions. Absolutely need all my healing potions. And... Wow, I'm amazed I'm actually not overburdened with these in my inventory. But you know what? It's going to be a long time before I need them, so here you go. I'll take the gold, please. And you've got a lot of it, wow. 
course, I did just buy a whole bunch of really... See, now, that... That really sucks. You jacked the price up 100% on me, basically. Mm-hmm. Or more than that. Because I bought them for 178 each, and now I can sell them back only for 36 That's ridiculous. <clears throat> there. Just as a courier would. I have placed the items in the delivery chest. You available have? for retrieval whenever you wish. Oh. Pick up your items from the campsite. There they are. Everything we left in that barrel back in the troll cave. This is so awesome. You see how everything is in the delivery chest, yes? Yeah. Everything is to your satisfaction. Dude, I'm going to love this. Um... Yeah, is there any reason why I shouldn't be satisfied? I would surely hope not. This trial run <clears throat> surely demonstrated the benefit of my service. Uh, yeah. That said, if you are not completely satisfied, there is perhaps something else. If you have the desire for more relics, you can acquire them from any East Empire merchant. I will ensure they always keep some in stock. Oh, I've already got a few. Well, now here, take these. On the house. And you're giving uh, me more. All this said, <laughs> I still fear there is more I can offer. More? Forgive a Khajiit's curiosity, only would you perhaps be interested in more services? Does more services mean more gold? Yeah. That depends. What, what are you offering? You have already seen how my collection service works, and this is good. But maybe there will be times that possession of all you have gathered is not what you desire. Perhaps you would prefer the item's value in septings instead. Yes, yes I would. But for this, you must gather what you wish to sell and find merchant, haggle for price, blah, 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 big headache. <laughs> However, Shakar can do all this for you instead. I offer service of selling. Put items okay. in container, and instead of marking for collection, mark for sale. And everything I can take care of. Uh, does this interest you? Yes, but how exactly... No, does... Uh... Uh... Y yeah, you've got my uh, full attention. Uh, please explain more. Exactly how do I mark them for sale instead of for collection? Of course, my friend. Allow my elaboration. You have already used the relics to mark items for collection, and the results you have seen. However, with a few manipulations to the relic, a container can be marked so I will know you wish the items to be sold instead of just collected. I'm listening. In a situation such as this, I would have my courier bring back your items, and I would begin to find buyers right away. Okay. You get almost as much coin as if you sold yourself, and with none of the headache or time wasted. All right. And how much is your cut? <laughs> you notice this. Your shrewdness serves you well. Yes. Outside of trade expenses, I will be skimming nothing from the sale of your items. This will maximize your personal profit. Okay. Why would I do this, you ask? Simple. By being the one to sell your items, I establish reputation as a merchant able to acquire and move inventory. Ah! If applied correctly, this reputation has more value than coin. I get it, I get it. Alright, you've got my full attention. So how do we do this whole relic thingy for selling stuff? Ah, wonderful. A decision most discerning, and something that shall benefit us both, I think. If you wish for me to sell what you have gathered, when placing a relic, simply mark the container. How? This will indicate to me your intent, and once collected, I will begin to sell your items right away. 
Or you can simply speak to one of our camp merchants if you wish me to sell something else. Any coin made shall be stored in one of our company's strong boxes. You can find this also at our outposts. All right. Here. You will need this key to open. Oh, okay. Um. Thank you. Like, this is really going to be useful. Your appreciation is most welcome. You should know the more items of yours I can sell, the greater commercial connections I will establish. This will allow me to offer improvements to the services I provide you. So, make sure to send plenty of items my way, yes? Y sure. Oh, and before you take your leave, there is one more thing. If How? you are so inclined, there is something you could help me with. I mean, with all you're doing for me, the least I could do is return the favor. Sure, what do you need help with? I have a business associate. He is not one for travel, and so resides at the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. Solitude. <laughs> Both he and I have certain aspirations we are working towards. However, I feel with your help, things would advance a lot faster and smoother. If you've the time and desire, you should travel to Solitude and speak with him. Solitude. I'm sure he would have use for your assistance. <clears throat> He should be easy to find. He's a rather self-important looking Altma named Corin. Tell him I have sent you. Solitude. And thank you. With your help uh, ahead, I see a warm future for us all. I mean... Yeah. I can go to Solitude and talk... Put that down. Oh. Oh, sorry. It, it's not marked as stolen, though. I can... Uh, I mean, yeah, I can go talk to your friend in solitude for you, but... Pro I see, I was headed planet. in the other direction. I was going east, not west. And now you, you want know, me boss? to go Many trade the other way. Through here. But... Just also, saying. you haven't explained how I manipulate yes. this relic so that things get sold rather than me having to sell them. Uh, Need something? Although, if I can't figure that part out. Oh. Items to put up for sale. Okay, so I can just talk to you and do it. I mean, that's cool. But... Take that, and that, and these. I mean, this is one definitely one way to do it, but I want to know how to do it with the relic thingies. Because it just seems really useful. I put everything in a chest, I go away, wait a day or so and then come back here to this spot and suddenly I have gold like that's really useful especially considering I mm -hmm. give the East Empire Company time to sell your items yeah 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 Still have, here. have all the time you want um, yeah, that just that's so useful. Now, how do I manipulate these? Cannot equip it. You still haven't explained that part. Do you have any sweet rolls? I love sweet rolls. Uh, I might. Give me. I mean, I don't. I don't know if you'll actually take it from me, but. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Of all the food in my inventory, I have not. Managed to collect this one any something? sweet rolls. Figure that one out. Solitude. He wants me to go to Solitude, but we need to go to Iverstead. I don't know how long the Greybeards are going to wait for me. Ugh, and I can't sleep here. I need a nap. 
I guess I'll take a, a nap on the carriage. But do not be fooled by this. Already in my life, I have seen and done much. I mean, it would be faster to go to Solitude than Iverstead because I could just take the carriage. And I could take a nap on the carriage. At least I think I could take a nap on the car. I hope I can take a nap on the carriage. If not, I'm kind of boned. I do kind of want to see Solitude. Hey, look, a bedroll. Okay, I'm I'm gonna get some sleep really quick, and then we'll we'll discuss this in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Nope, Need still tired. Okay. That's a little better. Yeah, it is a nice warm fire, isn't it? Let me get some breakfast. Uh, what am I in the mood for? How about some pheasant roast? You know what? I'm really hungry. There we go. Okay. So that we now that we've wasted yet another entire day. Well, I wouldn't call it a waste, though. I mean, well, let me go talk to the guy and see if I have any gold. Now that I've had a nap. Nope, strong box is still empty. Hmm. I'll bet it just hasn't been enough time yet. We'll. we'll all right. I am very curious about the still gold here. thing. I know I said we'd be going to Iverstead. But I think we can make Still more here. use of this. What? Those are... What? Are those from the dragon? How very interesting. Okay. I think I want to leave the horse. If I can leave the horse. We get into a fight, maybe? No, I'm, I'm gonna leave the horse here at the stables. Hopefully the stable master, stable master, hey! Roach! Roach? Meet Roach. <laughs> you don't, you, you don't all have into, what are you doing here? It's good to see you. That dragon was really scary, huh? And there was another one since then. But it's good to see you're, you're uh, safe. Yeah. Good girl. Just stay there, okay? We gotta... Still here. We've gotta go to solitude. So, I think it's time to hop the carriage. Because Need this will actually be... I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yeah. Where do you want to go? That's exactly what I was hoping for. I wish you could take me to Iverstead. But... If I'm going to go in the wrong direction, let's make the most of it and make some money. Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay. Come on, ladies. We're off to see the capital of Skyrim. First time to solitude? It is. Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. But I'm sure you already knew that. I did. Okay. I could use a nap. But... It was a very nice scenic ride. If, if you ignore all the Forsworn. Hey, Lydia. How dare you? Glad to see you could keep up. And Katya's still here, too. I saw you steal that. Where is she, though? I really wish you two would stop bickering. Look, I get it. She's a pickpocket. I'm sorry. But just because she's a pickpocket doesn't mean she's a bad person. And just just leave her be. It's not like she's taking from people that that are gonna miss whatever it is she's taking. If she's actually taking anything. Okay, 
Wait, solitude. No, okay. I don't actually need to go up to the city. Mr. Catman said I need to go down to the docks. Why does this lamp post have two lamps? I think someone got a little overzealous with uh, their lamp hanging. Not going to complain, though, because, well, I love having the lamps in the first place. Yeah. Somebody got carried away. On <laughs> quite a few of them. <laughs> you probably want someone else. I'm just the stable boy. Just the stable boy? Look at this big, pretty boat. And look at that water. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. I don't know who made all the improvements. Or why that data is making my, my life bus? better. But, keep it up. Uh, hi there. Um, ah, yes. Oh. Hello to you. Lydia. You'll have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for idle chit-chat. Right. I'm not here for idle chit-chat. Just hold it. Lydia, can you please refrain from walking through me? It's a little d unnerving. Wow. Okay. Everybody needs to go find something ah, yes. to do. Hello to you. Hi, You'll Corin. have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for uh, idle chit chat. I'm not here for chit chat. Uh, You'll uh, have to forgive me. Shakar. Rather... Shakar sent oh. me. So you're the one Shakar spoke of in his latest correspondence. You have the poise of an imperial. You'll fit in I mean, well yeah. with most working around here. I guess. But yes, you were correct in your observation. I am indeed Corin. A pleasure. I'm sure. Now, if Shakar sent you here, that likely means he thinks you of use to us. And I see no reason to question this. Tell me, did you the enterprising young Khajiit explain the nature of his and my endeavor? Uh, you're looking to make a lot of gold. And so am I. <laughs> Sell ice to Nords. <laughs> he wants you to sell ice to Nords. Uh, he mentioned something about being business associates. Of course. Why bother explaining things when he can make his partner do it instead? Shikar likes to refer to us as business associates, but in truth, we're both merely junior traders of the East Empire Company. Right now, both he and I are on the lowest rungs of the mercantile ladder. And yet you're still but that pompous? We've agreed to help each other accelerate our commercial career. From what I understand, in exchange for his services, you've already begun assisting Shakar. I have. His little project is rather simple, but I'll admit, quite creative. I personally would have never thought to utilize the relics in the way he has. My plans, however, are a little more ambitious. Okay. And I would welcome your assistance. I'm listening. I'm, I, I, I'm not looking for power, I'm just looking for money. Can I know more about these relics? Ah, yes, the relics. Thusly well, named because, well, we have no idea what they are or where they came from. Many crates of the things were inexplicably shipped here, and with no accompanying paperwork, we had no choice but to hold on to them. Months passed, and with no inquiries coming our way, I thought it may be prudent to perhaps find a private buyer for the curious devices. However, attempting to sell such volume, and with us being relatively unknown in the world of trade, this proved to be next to impossible. Okay. At least, doing so without drawing unwanted attention to us. Fair enough. That's when Shakar had his idea to instead use the devices to help us build a reputation, and then sell the relics. That Khajiit is smarter than he looks. I mean, his plan 
definitely seems to uh, benefit me quite greatly. So here's hoping it benefits you too. Uh, yeah, tell me more about yourself. Hmm? What is there to tell? I am but a simple mer, attempting to become a brilliant merchant with wealth beyond reason. A story as old as time. At least, that's what I tell most who ask me that question. And whilst I've no wish to divulge much more to you, I will say this. Many outsiders who enter the province of Skyrim do so in order to leave their past behind them. But, as I said, I am but a simple mer. I mean, I can kind of relate. I have a past of my own, although I'm actually trying to get back to it, not, not abandon it. And so far I am failing miserably at that, because I keep getting distracted by things like this. Do you know anything more about Shakar? He's an interesting one, for sure. A young Khajiit who both exhibits everything you'd expect from his kind, and many things you would not. When you speak with him, you can always see the cogs turning in that cunning feline mind of his. And yet, I've never met a Khajiit with such strong convictions when it comes to things such as honesty and fairness. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd call one of his kind a trusted friend, but here we are. Okay, so he is trustworthy, more or less. Also, ignore the vanishing and, and reappearing people all around you, especially the guard who likes to poof. Just chalk it up to teleportation magic. Alright, so let's hear this plan of yours. You see, the East Empire's position in Skyrim is tenuous. Our presence is tolerated at best, and we're severely limited in our operations. Officially, I'm not even sure we're sanctioned to be here. So, as you can imagine, our profit margin is as diluted as the wine at the Winking Skeever. But, if we had the approval to do business directly from a Yarl, we'd then be free to expand our activities within each hole. I see. Solidifying the East Empire's position, creating profit for all concerned, not to mention demonstrating our worth to our employers. And so, I've been attempting to arrange unofficial meetings, so that we may come to an understanding with the many Yarls of this vast province. And that's where I come in. You want me to be the unofficial part of the meetings. Are you sure you've not run a business before? With a temperament like that, I wouldn't be surprised if you had. Anyhow, I mean, I did I doubt you'll work be surprised in a shop. Where most y'alls want nothing to do with an upstart my past life under the employ of a foreign organization. Nevertheless, we have had interest from at least one hold. The Yarl of Winterhold, Courier, has agreed to speak with us. Winterhold. Winterhold is generally viewed as one of the more desolate holds, a pale shadow of its former glory, which may explain their willingness to talk. I was intending to speak with Winterhold Yarl myself, but I feel you may get better results. You may not be of this land, but you are also not of the East Empire Company. That alone should provide you with more favorable disposition. You know, I could also... So, what I ask of you is this. Sorry. Visit Winterhold on my behalf. An attempt to acquire the Yarl's approval for our presence within their hold. In exchange, I will provide you a percentage of the wealth and materials we will acquire as a result. Sound fair? I mean, yeah, but honestly, I think I'd have better luck for with uh, for you in uh, White Run because I'm a Thane there. The Yarl knows me. He's far more likely to be agreeable. But. All right. What, what, uh, elaborate on the whole wealth and materials. Shikar has already explained his desire to survey areas you have cleared. Yes. This is correct. If the Arls agree to let us operate within their borders, any locations you have cleared there can be exploited for whatever materials they may hold. Ah. Or trinkets, gems. Oh. Whatever we find um, will be shared with you. Pushy guard. 
All right. Sounds simple enough. Sure, let's let's do this. Very good. Here, take this. History of I've Winterhold. I've already done some research into this particular yarl. And I have the feeling that book I gave you, if offered as a gift, may help smooth negotiations to our favor. Okay. However, if you feel other tactics may be more apt, I will refer to your judgment. Just get the Yarl to agree to our presence within their hole. I see. I... Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's that big of a task. I mean... And I stand to gain a lot of money. Alright, sure. I'll go talk to the Yarl for you. I got nothing better to do, I guess. I trust that you will. I wish you luck. Oh! Oh, and have this, too. That ring marks you as someone empowered to speak on our behalf. It'll also get you a discount with most merchants. Ooh! Enjoy. I like discounts. Discounts are good. And hey, I'm a trade bar. I haven't actually had any jewelry yet that I wanted to. Prices are 15% better. Ooh! Lydia, today, it has been a very productive week. Something tells me we about to become filthy rich. Have you made your shopping list yet? Start writing.